Has anybody been noticing all these sinkholes lately? Is it me, or does it seem like the Almighty is targeting certain individuals for judgment? I've been noticing a lot of sinkholes killing people right in their homes, right in the middle of their sleep. Getting a ground opens up and just swallows them whole. So it is to my personal belief that I think God is trying to send out a warning to those that are still savable, as well as those that aren't awake, which are many, or should I say most. And uh, when I noticed something interesting, when I was reading scripture the other day, I noticed something in particular in uh, Matthew 24, and um, verse, starting at verse 38, where it speaks of as for us in the days of Noah, that were before the flood, people were going about their everyday business, just, you know, drinking, marrying, eating, you know, until the day I know he entered the ark. And uh, they, nobody knew. It caught them unawares. And uh, it says it took them all away. And uh, just go back and read Genesis chapter 6. And, you know, it, you can read right there. That back then, it was the wicked that got removed. So, you know, it says here, They knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. And we know that if you study Daniel's timeline, you're aware of the parable of, of the fig tree. You know that we are near those years, the return of Yeshua HaMashiach. So... It speaks about a verse down in verse 40 how then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken and another left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill, the one shall be taken and another left. And what are these sinkholes doing? Taking people, right? So, yeah, I mean, you could just. Look it up on YouTube, look on the news, you know, what are the, it's, what are the, it's a coincidence, right? That all these sinkholes are just happening all over the world. And here in America as well. I don't think so. I mean, like I said, what are the odds of you just being in your bedroom and just a hole opens up and just your room goes, you know, and the person that was there sleeping in his bed. Yet the house remains. I personally think that the Almighty is putting X marks on certain individuals for judgment that are uh, committing great sin before Him. And, uh, you know, people refuse to repent. They refuse to wake up and seek a true, real, personal relationship with the Almighty. You know, I also understand this, that it says, the Word says that no one can go to God except um, God himself sent his son Christ to draw them in. So we must be understanding as well and realize that these people need our prayers. But ultimately it's on them to be willing to change as well and seek his face while he may be found. Because, you know, if you read the, those last verses in Matthew, it tells you that it's the wicked that gets removed. So that's something to think about for all you rapture fans out there. You know, you want to be careful. It's not the righteous that leave, it's the wicked. As it says also, gather together the tares first in bundles so they can be burned. So, yeah, I just wanted to talk about that because it it's been on my mind lately that I think uh, we are seeing those days of judgment and I think we're going to see them increase frequently more and more you know, on, on the news, you know. And everywhere. And I think we are going to be seeing a lot of people we know that are close to us and are far off start start losing their lives if they do not repent. And you are no exception. So that's all I got to say is get right with Christ and seek Him while they may be found. God bless. That's all.